So next up, we are going to go ahead and make the axle holes on your car. Now, before you make the axle holes, I do want you to take a moment to look through the catalog that was posted to Schoology with all of the parts available to you. And I want you to consider whether or not you are interested in purchasing any friction reduction methods. Some of those friction reduction methods, such as the laminated tubing and the bushings, will require that your axle hole is actually a little bit bigger. So we're gonna have two different measurements depending on what you are thinking for friction reduction. The first example I'm gonna do is based off of not friction reduction, so no friction reduction methods. And the second example, very similar, just with a slightly larger diameter. So starting off, we're gonna go ahead and make our new sketch, but at this point, especially if you have curved the sides of your car at all, you might notice that it is harder to go ahead and start that 2D sketch. If you are running into that problem, you can always come over here to the origin folder and find that XY plane or whatever plane is running through the middle of your car. That brings us right back to our side view here, so I can go ahead and get started. The only difference is that since the XY plane is in the middle of our car, when I draw something, it's actually going to show up a little bit muted or a little bit faded, similar to the hidden lines that we've created earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by making a circle. And for our standard axles that are not using any friction reduction, we're using a diameter of 3.35 millimeters. Now I can put that circle wherever I want to to begin with, and then I can use the dimension tool to help organize and move it to where it ought to be. So if I know that from the back of my car to my rear axle hole is 25 millimeters away, I can go ahead and dimension those two, place that measurement down, and then type in 25 to move that axle hole. Now from the bottom of the axle hole to the bottom of the car, I can go ahead and just use a line if I'm interested. So if I know that my bottom of my axle hole to the bottom of my car was five millimeters, I can go ahead and create that line. Now if I get rid of these measurements, that's just gonna help me see a little bit more clearly. So here is my line right there. And as I zoom in, I'm gonna go ahead and utilize the move tool to just pick up and move this hole. So using the move tool, I've selected the hole itself. I'll click on the base point being about the bottom center of that circle, and then I can just scooch it until it connects with that line. So now my axle hole is pretty perfectly positioned where I want it. If you are thinking, cool, my front axle hole is going to be 170 millimeters away, you can honestly then just go from the center of this axle hole and draw a straight line out to the side for 170 millimeters. And then you can go ahead and use that circle to make another axle hole. And since you're using that kind of line in the middle as a placeholder, you don't have to worry too much about constraining this one, just making sure that it's that correct size of 3.35 millimeters. There we go. Now that your axle holes are made, you're gonna go ahead and finish your sketch and then extrude them. And when you extrude them, because we went ahead and put them on the X, Y axis in the middle of your car, we are gonna to have to extrude them symmetrically. So again, that third direction option. Make sure that you cut them away and do make sure that if you made both axles on the same sketch, that you are extruding both axles at the same time. Otherwise, you will lose one of your axles. So go ahead and extrude them both, and there you go. Now, if you are going to make a shell car, that's gonna be in the next video. And remember that you don't necessarily have to do this in this order. You could start with your axles and then go ahead to make the curves of your car. Uh, but the shell car, if you are doing it, should come a little bit later in the process.